Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today, we're talking about uh, the different ways people could die on board a battleship. This is going to answer a couple of different questions we've had in comment sections lately. So feel free to keep using the comment section to answer questions. Some of them we'll post just a, a reply to real quick. And other ones, we see them often enough, we think they're worth uh, making their own video up. So battleships are arguably the safest warships ever built. How does anybody die on board? Did anybody die on board New Jersey? Uh, so first answer to that question is, we do not have a complete set of the battleship's deck logs yet. We don't know how many people died on board. We know that people have died on board. Uh, we often say that only one New Jersey sailor died in combat on board the ship. And that's accurate, but that's not the whole story. People died on board the ship out of combat. Members of the ship's crew died when off of the ship. So without going into any names or uh, specific incidences, we're, we're going to talk about some of these ways that people died on board battleships. So uh, the big one, there's a link in the description for the uh, only onboard combat fatality, where we talk about that in detail and how that sailor was killed and a number of his shipmates were wounded. And this was in combat with a North Korean shore battery firing at us. So if your ship takes a hit, whether it's from an aircraft or enemy shells, there is the potential for people to die. The armor on this ship is great, but there's always something that can punch through. At certain ranges, you can defeat most armor with, with even smaller size guns if you are able to get close enough. Like there, there are ways to punch through the armor and not all of the ship is armored. So many of the crew are in unarmored general quarter stations. Even outside of combat, uh, it's possible for sailors to be killed or hurt. So uh, two accidents come to mind immediately. Battleship New Jersey was hit uh, on one occasion during World War II by a five inch shell during uh, AA practice, a different ship out in the ocean was doing AA practice and fired a shell that failed to fuse properly and crashed through the fantail deck of Battleship New Jersey and ended up in a uh, wash basin in one of the heads back in cruise berthing on the third deck. This didn't kill anyone, but Shrapnels from, from that did wound a couple of sailors who were completely unsuspecting. Normally that part of the ship wouldn't have anyone in it during general quarters, but uh, in this instance, there were sailors in there using the bathroom and all of a sudden a five inch shell comes through the roof. Fortunately, uh, it remained a dud, did not explode, and one of the sailors carried it off. Another accident that happened during World War II did result in the death of at least one sailor. In this instance, when the ship was brand new conducting her first gunnery trials, the recoil from one of the 16-inch guns crushed a sailor in one of the gun pits. In, in this instance, a completely brand new sailor didn't realize that the guns recoil something like 42 inches uh, and with the force of 660 pounds of powder behind it, it crushed him. On board the modern ship, there are red stripes in there to tell you to stand behind this line. On board that ship, that sailor either didn't think about it, uh, he didn't realize that the gun was about to fire, or he thought he was in a safe place and he actually wasn't. In addition to accidents that cause death on board the ship, there are also incidents that cause death off of the ship for the ship's crew. One of our sailors was in the Marine Corps barracks in Beirut when the bomb went off. So in addition to the Marines who were stationed there who were killed by the blast, uh, one of our sailors was as well. And we talk about that in a different video. Uh, you can see that link in the description below too. Uh, so those are our two combat fatalities, one on board, one off of the ship. But there are other accidents that happen off of the ship that uh, could cause loss of life. So a number of sailors on board this ship, including at least one captain, got into car accidents while the ship was tied up at the pier and they were driving around. One instance, I believe the ship was home ported in Norfolk at the time, a uh, car hit a deer and caused an accident. I don't think anybody died in that instance except the deer uh, whose head was mounted and hung in the captain's cabin for a period of time, allegedly. 
other incidences um, did involve sailors who died in car accidents or uh, other situations like that when they were off of the ship. There are other types of accidents that could happen on the ship, and I'm not familiar with any uh, from this ship, but uh, operating a steam plant, 600 pounds of pressure and 850 degrees, obviously something could go wrong there. Working with the electrical equipment on board the ship, we've got equipment at 440 volts, uh, so you, you could easily electrocute yourself if you weren't doing your job right. And these guys were well-trained professionals, and by and large, they did their job right. So we don't have many stories of this. Potentially, when we're able to get a complete set of the ship's deck logs, we'll, we'll be able to fill in some more of these stories and get these details. Right now, most of what we have comes from oral history interviews, which you can watch any of those on our channel. No, we did have we did have one young fellow died. It was the only it's the only uh, critical thing we had on our ship for anybody died to die. Life. He died. From we don't know. I don't know. I think I, if it's, the story was correct, uh, if I heard it correct, it was the black powder thing. We were They were afraid it was going to blow up. What happened to kill that man, I don't know. But there were also three other people injured at the same time. And that's all I have on that. There were also non-combat related medical issues. For example, appendicitis is a really common one that young people get that... Uh, can go undiagnosed. You just have abdominal pain. You're in the middle of the South Pacific during World War II and people are actually getting wounded. So you don't go to sick bay, even though the ship has a really phenomenal sick bay and a couple of professional doctors on board. Uh, so there, there are a number of surgeries on board to remove appendixes. And I suspect there are instances of people having medical issues that go undiagnosed. Uh, that lead to death. Again, we, we don't have enough of the deck logs to say for sure how widespread that is on this ship. In addition to things that lead to death, it's a ship, it's dangerous, it is not up to OSHA standards. You've seen some of the places we crawl through. Uh, feels like the same guys who designed the Star Wars universe designed this ship with just pits of death everywhere. So like, th there are ways to get hurt that might not necessarily lead to death. Uh, for example, we had one sailor who broke their leg playing baseball at least one so that we know of. So like another gruesome injury sustained on board this ship, and remember it's, it's an all-male crew, uh, at least one sailor shows up in one of the deck logs we do have uh, on the sick list for scrotal lacerations. Uh, I'm not sure what sharp object ended up, but uh, nothing is sacred on the ship. You could get injured literally anywhere on your body, anywhere on the ship. So that's absolutely a thing you've got to watch out for all the time. There are accidental deaths uh, and there are wartime deaths, but there are also intentional deaths. Battleship New Jersey had at least one murder on board between sailors. And we don't have the complete story, which is why we've never done a video on it. And until I've got a more complete story, I'm not going to go into any additional details there. But um, there, there was at least one onboard murder that we know about. That's probably the only one. But, you know, you've got up to 2,000 guys crammed into a metal box with nowhere to go and stuck on board for months at a time. Uh, some of those guys are going to be disciplinary problems and uh, they're going to dislike each other. It's probably the most significant reason for death on board is suicide. Uh, suicide is a huge problem in the armed forces. Hey, same token, you put a bunch of sailors on a small boat and you trap them there for months at a time. And uh, there, there is a huge amount of pressure in the military. You, you've got to do your job absolutely perfectly. You've got guys yelling at you all the time if you aren't. Uh, it's not just your life on the line, it's your shipmates' lives on the line. There is at least one sailor on board who hung themselves in a bathroom on the ship. That's another story where we don't have the complete picture, so I'm not going to share any additional details, but it, it's a microchasm of a much larger phenomenon. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State and also from uh, a number of businesses and viewers like yourselves. So we really appreciate the support you guys have given us 
And if you'd like to continue supporting us, there's a link in the description below so you can donate. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people hear about our channel. And it'll let you know when we're putting out new content five times a week. Thanks for watching.